in this video we are going to solve another example for the rank conditions for identifying one equation in simultaneous equation okay so we have four equations here we have four equations here okay and we will be using rank condition to identify so the first first thing to do is first thing to do is arrange these equations into very friendly matrix format okay so we are going to arrange them in such a way that we can form the matrix afterward okay in order to do that what we do is you take the right side of the equation these things okay to the left side okay so you will get like some equation like this okay like this you will get okay sometimes in some books also you can find it in a different way where you will get them equal to zero okay you will make them equal to zero this is also correct this is also correct either way you can use okay what matters is the matrix now the matrix will be formed from the coefficients of the variables here okay the coefficients of the variables will be arranged in a matrix format now in the next slide we see that the matrix format we have been doing we what you are doing is you are taking all the variables of the equations okay all the variables in the equations and putting them in the first row here is this one we are giving the variables we are keeping the variables y1 t y2 t y3 t y4 t x1 x2 all these were our variables right so y1 y2 y3 t4 y4 or y4 t all these are your endogenous variable and predetermined variable are num three in number x1 x2 x3 okay now what you have done is how many times beta 1 here we are keeping this one for the intercept now beta 10 negative beta 10 here it is coming negative beta 10 this is for the first equation now i have highlighted this in the color respective color so white color coefficients white color coefficients are for the first equation yellow color is for the second equation here okay blue color for the third third one and the green one this is the fourth equation coefficients okay no confusion now these are the coefficient associated with that variables in that particular equation so if you are talking about third equation so this is our third equation number 3 and uh, we have changed that to this one okay from here you can see that y3 t is present so wherever y3 t is there for third equation we are writing one here okay then next is beta 30 beta 30 is the intercept we have written it already here under the one okay next is beta 30 uh, negative beta 31 that is for y1 t so for y1 t we are writing the respective coefficient associated with that similarly for x1 t we are writing the coefficient that is negative gamma 31 okay so the sign along with the coefficient we are writing the coefficient along with the sign here okay in the next what we are going to do is let's take the equation number 1 okay let's find out whether equation 1 is identified or not okay what are the condition the condition one was we will be able to get 
matrix of the order m minus 1. So what is your m here? Your capital M here, that is the number of equation, that is 4. Okay. So we are telling if you could find a matrix using the variables that is excluded from the equation 1, then that will be and that matrix has the determinant of not equal to 0 then we say that it is identified if the determinant of that matrix is 0 that means the rank of that matrix is less than 3 in that case it will be not identified okay but if it is not equal to 0 then it is identified it is going to be identified we'll see in this case so for the equation 1 what you have to go do is round, round or circle around the coefficient for equation 1 because that row we are not going to consider and what we are going to consider we are going to consider the variables which were not present in that particular equation that is equation number one so we can see the columns where zero is there okay because that variable is not present in the equation okay now you got it so from here we will be constructing the matrix okay so now let's see here okay so you can see that we are cancelling out y1 t y2 t y3 t y4 sorry uh, y3 t then x1 okay we have strike them out so we are not going to consider them we are only considering the excluded variables so from that equation these are not present in that equation so we'll be considering these values and we are going to ignore these intersection points okay so these values will not be there we are just referring that to find out the uh, values for the matrix now we are having this y40 for this it is 0, 0, 1 for in the other equation. So, we can see that y40 is not present in equation 1, but it is present in equation 4, right? y40, this one. Now, x2 is present in, x2 is present in equation number, in equation number 2 okay x2 t or x2 i have written x2 t okay okay fine you can write it here t x3 t 30 okay now x2 t is already present there here so we are writing ga negative gamma 2 2 similarly in equation 3 is also there x2 t is there so we are writing the respective coefficient negative gamma 32 or gamma 32 then for x3 t that is not present in equation 2 or 3 but it is present in equation number 4 okay then the next thing you have to consider that it is a 3 by 3 matrix but what about its rank we talked about the rank of this one okay so if what is the rank if the determinant is not equal to 0 then the, the then the rank will be 3 here let's see if what are what are the determinant value you can see that the, de the determinant of this matrix will be equal to 0 because it will be multiplied by 0 here okay so if you do that then you will get the rank is less than 3 because the determinant is not equal to sorry the determinant is equal to 0 in that case the rank will be less than 3 okay and we needed the rank to be m minus 1 okay equal to m minus 1 but m minus 1 equal to 3 but our rank is less than 3 
so it is not identified okay as per the rank condition but you will uh, you, you will, if you do this y2t y3t you can see that they are not identified but y4t will be identified you try and check it out okay so 2 3 will not be identified but 4 will be identified using these conditions okay so we'll see you in the next video